Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 19 of my full plan and walkthrough for Elden Ring. Uh, as always, we are exactly where we left off. We're down at that ending. Remember, do not touch that door until I tell you to do so. It'll be in a few videos time when we do all of the endings at once. Right, so I'm going to teleport back to the Avenue Balcony um, Grace Point and then we're going to move on. We're just going to do something quickly as we leave. I wasn't going to go down here and do this uh, because you can get a... Uh, a golden seed elsewhere. We're actually going to pick two extras up in this video that we don't need, um, but just in case you you know you missed one, maybe. Uh, but we're coming down here for is a smithing stone six. We're going to get a couple of others as well in this video, but you should be done with smithing stone six if you're using that upgrade path for your weapon. Uh, yeah, you should have enough by the end of the video. So we'll come up onto the main road uh, of Leyendel and then go left down here. At the fountain you can also go right. Uh, there is one of the um, the knights in there. Completely forgotten the name of the knight. <laughs> uh, he's fairly easy if you just use um, as your Jesus <laughs> comet as your. <laughs> uh, you can get him down pretty easily because he'll have, have his back to you, turn to you, and there's a, a hero's rune in there if you want to grab that. It's also a shortcut back up to where we very the very start of Leyendale, which is kind of pointless at this point. Um, yeah, so. Hit all these these uh, guys. Clear. I'm just clearing the area out so you don't have any surprises, really. Uh, there's a few bits here, Golden Rune and what have you. We're not going to explore down here with ne necessarily. We're just uh, getting to a certain something and then leaving. And for the rest of this guide, that's pretty much what we'll be doing. I did say at the start we'll be sort of towards the end. We'll be kind of not rushing, but just, you know, not exploring so much. Just going where we need to go and then uh, and moving on. This isn't the smithing stone I was talking about. It's actually a six we're getting. Uh, this here's a stone sword key. We have lots of them, but if yeah, you don't want to run out. I mean, how many have we got? Probably about 15 or 20. <laughs> we'll have a lot of them. So here's another one. Just in case you want them all. Not that I'm finding them all. Right. So I'm going to go down here. The, you're just going to see me sort of, I think I looked behind me at some point, I, th I feel like one of these was following me, yeah, I thought I could hear him, but he's not there, but he is actually following me, just really slow. So there is a, an ulcerated tree spirit here, so um, if you just get it to wake up, you can actually just hit it from here, it's going to take a while, but if you want to go and fight it head on with, be really brave and all that, you would go for it, <laughs> uh, I'm not. This is just the easiest way to do this. It can't get you. It won't try and get you. Just stand back here. Because if you press up a cl close against a wall like this, Rock Sling actually elevates really high. So uh, you can just do it from a distance. I think only two are hitting it, but that's fine. You don't want to fight. I'm sure you don't like fighting these things up close. Oh, we've got another one. So yeah, this obviously gives good, give us... Going to give us a golden seed, <laughs> uh, which we're not. We do need it. It's the last one we need, but it's it's not the reason we're down here. Uh, we're going to get a smithing stone six, which is this one here. It's an easy, quick one to get, and we'll grab a couple couple of others as we move through this video, and that will be us done with smithing stone six. We'll also start moving. I'm trying to do the map here, by the way, um, and I can't. Obviously, if there's an enemy around, you can't. So I'm still in combat. So I just run back, and yes, there was one following me, but it's extremely slow. So now I can use the map and uh, teleport up, pout, teleport pout, teleport out. I'm going to go to uh, round table hold, use smithing stone six, and that should be the last one for me. Don't worry if you can't do it yet, uh, we'll be getting a couple of others. You should do, I don't think I've got any random drops of smithing stone sixes at this point. And then you should have some sevens already, a few of them. We'll be getting some more. We'll be getting at least four more in the video uh, that are guaranteed. And then we'll also be getting some others in the next video. Obviously, we're going to late game, so these are going to become more common. And uh, yeah, go back to the balcony. Nope, not that one. That one. And then we'll actually leave Landell now. We're just doing that on the way out. Uh, we'll use the golden tier we just got as well, which is not that option, that sacred tier. Don't worry, I'll get it together in a minute. There we go. So that's the final upgrade with regards to uh, golden seeds. Can't do any more. So picking them up at this point is completely useless, but I bet you still do it. I bet you do. <laughs> it's just one of those things you just have to pick up. 
if you see one. Uh, I will show you where a couple of extras are if you need them for whatever reason. If you missed one or two. It's not needed for a trophy. It's it's literally just to have as many tiers as, as possible. So we're going to head for these. Unfortunately, can't use Torrent at this part. It's quite a run. Uh, we're going to be doing that. Uh, quite a few, quite a long run from this bit and then up past all the it's quite a long way <laughs> unfortunately so this place we'll be back to later on Erdtree's favor uh, 2 which is a talisman is here but only after it the area changes unfortunately So I don't want those following me. And there's quite a few enemies up here. You could run for it, I suppose. But it's easy enough just to kill them. There's one here who's going to be hiding. He will definitely jump out and get you. And then, yeah, if you come up here, you'll notice you can bring in your, your summon, your ash to help you out. And it's probably a good idea. There's a misbegotten thing over there. I've forgotten it. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a running theme, isn't it? I'm not actually aiming him at that point. I'm aiming at someone behind him, but that will do. There we go. Misbegotten Leonin. That sounds right, doesn't it? Was that a magic card? I always get magic cards mixed up with, <laughs> with uh, names in this as well. So, yeah, just keep uh, killing whatever runs towards you, basically. There's nothing particularly dangerous here. Uh, the... Perfumers, I think they're the perfumers there. They do sort of do buffs to the other enemies as well, but it's it's nothing crazy. So you can just, you know, kill them <laughs> with whichever spell, it doesn't matter. Some of them oddly don't wake up. All this ruckus going on, and some of them just still just chilling out, eating from graves or whatever the hell they're doing. <laughs> yeah, eventually Tish, Titch, whatever, will disappear as well, uh, even though some of these will still be around. So just clean them up so you don't get followed. And yeah, and here's your trap as well, by the way. These items, obviously, you come pick these up. All the enemies appear. But yeah, you could just run past them in theory because there is uh, a lift here. So we did kill Morgoth in the previous video, so we do have his great, well, we don't have it yet, the great rune, uh, you know, rune arcs and all that. I've not been using them. Uh, it's, it might be a good one for you to go and get if you want it. I don't know which one you're using, obviously, if you're still using the same one that we got early on for the trophy or not, you know, the plus five on everything. Uh, I'll give you the option. I'm not going to go and do it, but the option will be there for you. I'll show you where you can go and get it. Uh, get more Gots Great Rune, which gives you a 25% increase on your health after all buffs. So whatever your health is now, it will add 25% onto it. Um, it might be good. It might be quite good. It's a decent uh, amount of health. If you're strugg struggling with a certain boss, getting one shot or something like that, uh, it might help. So we'll show you. It's not coming up yet, I'll tell you in a moment. It's in this tower ahead of us. I don't want to mess around with these knights. I don't like these knights. Because they, <laughs> they seem to be able to block um, ambush shard from behind sometimes. And I don't like, like that. That's not a full ambush shard, damn it. There we go. I don't understand how they're able to do that. It's not fair. <laughs> There's another one there, by the way. He usually doesn't wake up. Yeah, you can't use torrent here either, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to run. Uh, there is a lizard here. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Uh, dung beetle, somber smothering stone six. It will blast into a big one that does charge you as well, uh, like that. It doesn't actually damage you, which is a bit strange, but it does charge you. Gets you out of the way. I mean, we don't need a somber smithing stone six, so if you miss it, it's not the, the end of the world. Right, so Morgoth's Tower is coming up. If we're, we're going to go in here and use the lift to go down. But if you go through the exit on the right-hand side, there's going to be a quick boss fight, which is two of the omens. You know, the big guys that we were fighting in the sewers. They're not very nice ones. Uh, you can just use Rock Sling and just... It's in the dark. If you, know, if you play Dark Souls 1, 
uh, so it's down there basically so we go all the way down here so as you step everything's going to go black like four kings from dark souls one uh, and you'll fight two of the omens at once They're, they start off quite far away so you can use rock sling and kill one before it gets to you and then the other it's not too bad a fight honestly um and then just go up the tower activate the great rune and then you'll have more guts great rune go to a grace you can change it and activate that one and it will give you a 25 percent increase on your health if you want to do that one but i'm not using them so i'm not going to go and do it i'm not going to waste the time in the video but it's uh, yeah it's a simple enough fight uh yeah so this is where we are this is what we're doing now we're doing snow and not very high visibility uh, i would change the the time of day to uh sort of afternoon or uh, early morning if you whichever it doesn't really matter you're not gonna be able to see anything the main reason is that there will be a night down here at night which if you don't want him around so <laughs> just change it to night uh, so it's we've got no map at this point and we're following a road that isn't really a road so it's it's a bit confusing it's all very linear there's nothing off to the sides it's it's a linear path this really uh, so just kind of well not kind of but follow where i go uh, and don't really you know there's no reason to deviate this is a bit of a weird section where there's not actually much going on it's just a path between two areas but it has these uh, these little guys which are deceptively powerful they really do hurt if you let them get on top of you uh, and they're usually in groups of two or three so it can happen and it will you'll see it happen shortly so yeah, once you've got to this sort of part, you, you, you're going to see that it's very linear, this path. And you just need to keep trying to lock on. If you don't know if there's anything there, if you can't see, keep trying to lock on. And uh, yeah, if you're doing daytime, if you are doing this at night, you will notice there's a knight's cavalry at one point. <laughs> you can run for it if you wish. Yeah, get out of the air. There you go. They do have an attack, I've been lucky so far that they haven't done it, where they, uh, it's a beast spell. You'll see it happen shortly. There is a boss that uses it later on. I think this is where the three of them ambush. Is this it? Oh no, it's up here. No, there is one behind me, that's right. Yeah, this beast spell they do, um, yeah, it hurts, as does that thing that he's got, that flail thing. Going for it again. <laughs> so yeah, just watch out for the ambush on this one. Oh, he missed. And we are outside, so once you do kill a group, you'll get your little swirls. And there is a boss at the end of this. Uh, these crystal lizards, yes, I'm going to keep calling them that, um, are just the, the swirl ones. So don't worry if you miss any of them. You can keep checking the map as well. If you think you're getting lost, just keep checking the map and make sure you're on that road. And you'll be fine. Uh, here's one of the golden seeds we don't need anymore, but you might. So I bet, even if you don't need it, you're picking that, uh, that golden seed up. <laughs> you just have to, don't you? Uh, yeah, so the, the fight that's coming up, it doesn't go particularly well. I don't die or anything, but I move too far out of the way and uh, titch, titch, tish, despawns, which is not great. And it's quite an aggressive enemy, this. It's the Black Blade Gargoyle. So as you move forward up here, yeah, look out for the uh, thing on the left-hand side, the gate. Bring her in. Or if you're using Mimit here, bring that in. Yeah, don't drop too far back. That's the mistake I made. And I wasn't watching the screen on the left and she despawned. But this thing is aggressive. I think it does hit me at first. That's why I backed away. You can stagger it, but I didn't get that first hit on there. Ooh, that was bad. <laughs> so yeah, at this point I'm backing away. Obviously. And I'm down here. What You can see that she's flashing on the left hand side. Um, and she does despawn, unfortunately, because I can't get up there quickly enough. Or I did. I wasn't noticed, and then there it happened. She despawned, unfortunately. 
so it does if you stood away from this sort of area that's not cool stood away from this area it will um, it kind of de-aggro as well and just sort of stick around the edges Boxling will st keep hitting it but it goes behind the tree here unfortunately I, did, ah, I staggered it there <laughs> can't hit it, stop doing it, you're not hitting it. There we go. Don't go that way. God, you're annoying. Yes, I could. I know, if I was more brave, I could just run up and uh, finish it properly. But, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it's proper de de in this one. It's going back to its uh, spawn point. One more there, we got it. Uh, yeah, so it should be a lot simpler than that for you, honestly. And you'll get the black blade and the axe. Not essential, but we've got the thing out of the way now. And of course, you get a chunk of runes. So we'll sit at the grace here. Uh, what are we upgrading? What are we leveling up? I probably vigor at this point. Yeah, I think I did because I thought and we're getting a bit close there. Uh, I will think about taking off the scar, not the scar seal, the saw seal, the the lesser one, because we are leveling up and we don't need faith or arcane anymore. Uh, so it's just the kind of FP and the intelligence we're getting from it. So as we level those up, we can just remove that and put something else on that doesn't. Uh, increase the damage we take. So walk towards that and you're going to get the option to hoist med uh, medallion, hoist the medallion up and then there's going to be a cutscene and you'll be up here. That was uh, the lift, one of the lifts that the lift have rolled, I think that one is. We'll be back there later on because there's a secret option there, we just don't have the uh, the medallion yet. But this is the area we're doing, we're doing mountain tops of the giants. Uh, west and east, we're doing both of them. So this is where we are, where we are. it's very narrow but we're heading all the way up there. And it's quite a long ride, to be honest. But, like I said, we're not deviating. We're just getting to where we need to go. Which includes not going through here. It's those, yeah, Zamor ruins. So it's those heroes of Zamor. We have been fighting them as the bosses. Uh, now they're just a regular enemy. <laughs> Shouldn't be too bad, just ride past. Uh, here you may want to stop. Uh, there are some eagles. They're not the really, really bad war hawks. Eagles. With the knife, feet, the horrible ones. That one just fell off. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, there are two, by the way. Uh, one of them probably won't fall. How does a bird die from fall damage? I don't know, but it did. Um, yeah, kill those two. There is one up here as well, uh, but it does... I do get off because I was going to kill it in case it came towards us, but it doesn't, so we'll leave it. Again, this is fairly linear, this part. Smothering butterflies, great. And we'll, uh, we'll jump over here. And there's quite a few enemies. You can bring your summon in to help here if you want. There we go. So if you have watched the trailers, uh, if you did watch the trailers way back and you haven't played this yet, uh, you'll recognise this enemy from the trailers. The firehead. There's no point hitting it now, I've killed it. Yeah, this one here. Uh, not too bad. I go for Stars of Rune. I probably should have just gone for, for Rock Sling, to be honest. But yeah, it's one of those enemies that you just you can kill quite quickly if you try. Just don't be near it when it gets going. <laughs> and don't run out of FP as it's running towards you. Thankfully, that's why Titch is here. I thought she killed him. Oh no, she didn't. Oh, last minute again. Yeah, great. No, it wasn't her that she killed. Or him. 
Uh, I don't know if you'll get the Thorned Whip or the Prelate Helm. Uh, it, it may be a rare drop, so that's why I've not put them, but you may get those. But if you come up here, there is a Sorcery, Briar's a Punishment. It's not one I'll use, but there it is. And Arterial Leaves. Right, at this point you don't need to use uh, Torrent. If you're worried about falling off because it's quite narrow, you're going to see a few instances where I, I jump back onto Torrent at certain points and almost fall off. Yeah, you don't need to. Uh, you can do this running on foot, but there is a giant with a bow and arrow at the back end at the other side, and it will start firing on you. So jump out. You can just see it off in the distance on the left-hand side there. It's once you get to about here, yeah, here, whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it'll kind of wake up here. What you're looking for is the here on the right-hand side, so you can just jump off. Carry on, obviously it's going to be using its... Whoa, that was close. A bit of a late dodge as well. And you can, if you wait for the hit, you can make the run if on, uh, on foot if you want to. Onto this next one. And then again here, you can do it on foot if you need to. Because it's just here, and then you drop down the left hand side, or no, sorry, the left. Yeah, keep the wall on your left, should I say, here. And then you just can just run up and uh, kill the giant. And this is the only point where it actually hits me with the arrow when I stood right next to it. Because apparently, Stars of Ruin isn't actually very good against these giants. You want to use Roxling to get it to fall over, or something else. This just doesn't. Ah, that's not good. I thought it was past the point of impact there. It just does damage to it. It doesn't seem to knock it over. Which is a bit disappointing. Hmm. I'll just stick to Pebble. <laughs> it's just the... <laughs> ah, all that FP I was using... When he could just use Pebble. It's cheap. I think that's the best bit about it. Is it's so cheap. So that's where we've just come across here. All the way across. And now we're actually in the the mountain tops of the giant giant's west. We've just got one more little section to go up. And then we'll be there. The main thing we're doing here is a place called Castle Sol. That's where the other half of the secret medallion is. To get us to Halig Tree. Uh, plus there's a trophy for defeating the boss there. Somber Smithing Stone 8, if you want that. And here is our main. We'll be back here a couple of times. Our main um, grace. bit of a refresh now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go off to the right down the river and then into this uncharted area here uh, we're, we're riding towards a church I'll make this as simple as possible really but the, we're going to be running past a boss and two lobsters yes if you fought the lobsters you'll know how terrifying that can be <laughs> so right down here the, the lake the sorry the river is frozen and the lake we're going onto is frozen as well. There aren't any with bow and arrows, so don't worry about the giants, you'll be fine. Just stick to the right here. Not this one, not yet. Keep going, keep going. So I'm just showing you there's another golden seed um, if you need it. Give him a quick slap as we go past. Try and avoid the giant. Yeah, you, you should be fine with golden seeds now. Now there is a giant lying on the floor there as well. You can use this one if you wanted to. But there's also a statue off to the right, just where the river ends. Uh, just to the right of me now, there's one of those statues with the blue crack in it. You can use that giant to smash it um, and it will reveal Smithing Stone 7. I'm not going to get it because we can get some later on, but if you're desperate for it, there's one there. I'll also show you another three in a minute. 
but the main thing we're doing is uh, getting across here to get a sacred tier. So, I'm going to show you on the map in a moment. Do I not? No, I don't. Yes, I do. So, we're doing a direct southeast run basically across the river, uh, the lakes. Um, keep the mountains on your right as you go as best you can. It's, it's not going to be vis there's going to be very low visibility in a minute. So, first of all, head towards these jellyfish. Keep the river on your left and the, the, the land on your right. And at a certain point, the boss is going to come in. Now, you might be able to actually, if, if you are struggling getting across here, I don't think you should, to be honest. So go past this cave. Um, if you are struggling, you could always bring in your summons as a di uh, distraction, if you wish. So it's going to get pretty windy. A lot of fog. So Boreal, uh, the freezing fog, that's obviously Borealis. That's obviously a, a little nod to Dark Souls 3 there as well. So try and keep the land. And then obviously there are these... You should be okay if you just ride quickly, keep the wall and keep, you know, Serpentine. If you know what film that's from, <laughs> let me know. I'd be impressed if you do. Um, yeah, so it doesn't hit you. Keep going round and snaking if you can. But it just, at that point, that's where it hits me. Come on. But once you're up to that point, you're, you're clear. Uh, the boss will despawn. I mean, if you want to fight the boss, go for it. It's just a dragon. It's not too bad a boss, honestly, but we're not wasting our time with it. And uh, this is what we are here for as well. Uh, not this, this somber smithing, somber stone miner's bell bearing, if you want. So this is where we've come. It's pretty much, you know, northeast. That's uh, northeast. Southeast. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, if you turn that bell in to the maidens, the twin maidens at Round Table Hold, then... Uh, you will get the ability to purchase 5 and 6, some of Smithing Stone 5 and 6. Uh, but the two main reasons we've come here are for a Sacred Tear, because they're always handy. Extra Flask Potency is always good. And there's also se uh, 3, 7 will be good. 3 Smithing Stone 7s just on top of this hill. So that's an easy easy grab as well. And now once we're done with that, we are just going to teleport back to that first grace point we were at. Not the very first one, but the, the start of the area. So back here again. And then this time, instead of going right along the river, we're going to go left. So west. Again, you can pretty much, well, you can just ignore everything and just ride. You're trying to get to the other side. I will say, from spawning in there at the grace point up until the point, I tell you, don't use your summon at all, because we need a specific one that we're going to use uh, to get a talisman. No, I missed. That's not fun. So there will be a fight going on here. There will be bats fighting with um, demi-humans. And then we're going to jump off here. This isn't uh, essential, it's just kind of here, so we're going to grab it. Uh, Travelling Maiden set, if you want that. And then in this pile, there are actually some demi-humans in this pile. I was just going to grab this one and carry on, because this is a somber smith uh, just a smithing stone seven, sorry. So that's four we've just got. So at this point, I can actually use all of my Smithing Stone 7. So if you want to go and do that, then feel free. If you, you obviously, you can go back and upgrade whenever. But I'm not in a rush with the weapon. Yeah, just stop to grab those extra two. And then we're going to use this Spirit Spring here to jump up. It's going to throw us up, and we're going to go left. And up here. And then this bridge we'll use shortly. But there, uh, this one. So this is where we are now. We're going to use that bridge shortly. Uh, yeah, don't use your summon just yet. I know there's the little gate there. We do need a specific one in a moment. Let's kill these two bats. And we're going to head to the Stargazer's Ruins. And there is a jellyfish in here that is talking. 
Now, we got a jellyfish summon, uh, Ash, very early on in the game from the Lady Rod... Rika? Rodrika? The one who does the Spirit Ash uh, strengthening. So switch your Spirit Ash to uh, the jellyfish. You should have it if you were following along. It does not matter if you don't do this. It's not for a trophy, so don't worry. It's just a pretty good talisman if you are uh, a sorcerer. And then just bring the Spirit Ash in, and they will begin to talk... And then they will disappear, which is kind of cool, to be honest. A really cool way of using the ashes. I was very surprised this worked when I did it. Honestly, I, it was one of those amazing parts of the game. Uh, you'll get Fancy Spin, which is a gesture. It's a pretty cool one. <laughs> um, and then if you walk down, that barrier is going to disappear. You can lift this up, and you're going to get Primal Glintstone Blade, which is a talisman. Now, I'm not going to equip it right away. I was thinking, shall I put it on right now? Um, what it does is it reduces your HP by quite a while, quite a, a bit. It's like 150. That's not the good thing, obviously. Uh, I'm just switching my ash back, by the way. But what it does is it decreases the cost of spells, which is, you know, pretty good. So... Um, I think I'll switch it. It's a bit, obviously, I'll change one of the Scar Seals for it. I think I will change it in the beginning of the next video. It is quite a lot less HP. It does go quite down, quite far down. Obviously, we're going to lose the Intelligence and the Mind, which is not too bad at the higher level we're at. But yeah, the Mind, we will lose some of it, but we'll also it doesn't matter because spells will be cheaper, so we can still just upgrade that again afterwards. So I think I will switch. Yes, the HP loss is a thing, but HP is not the worst. Plus, we'll also take less damage because we're removing the seal, the scar seal. So I think I will do it at the beginning of the next video. You can do it now. I've I've kind of worked it out. I just wanted to grab it in case you wanted to use it now, uh, and then I was going to work out. And I think we will use it. So yeah, the, what we're doing here is a bit of a death run. So I'll give you a couple of options. If you don't want to do this death run, I just waited for that big skeleton to do its attack. And then I'm just running up the path here, avoiding all this, these skeletons. You can see the beast eyes quivering. Uh, that means there's one of those... Um, ah, God, the guys in the ships, the boats, you know what I mean. Uh, one of those guys around who's summoning all these. You can't get him just yet, uh, but we don't need to. I will kill him shortly, but we don't need to, to get where we're going. Which is up here, just ride all the way through until you get to the other bridge here. Now I'm going to give you another option if you don't want to do that, if you're struggling for whatever reason, and that's to go the other way. So we came from the ruins across there and all the way up, and there we are. You can also go across this bridge here, do the minor erd tree, and go across that bridge to get to the same point, which is that bridge, that erd tree there. Uh, it's just a normal um, erd tree the tears that it drop, the the enemy drops, the boss drops, aren't particularly of interest to us, so uh, I'm not going to do them. But we're making our way down to Castle Sol now, which is down there. Not the nicest place, I must admit. So keep the cliff on your side, and then you can drop down onto the lower, higher part, if that makes sense. The higher, lower part, even. So it didn't make sense. <laughs> uh, and the end, there's going to be one of these. It doesn't actually start as a proper boss fight, this. It just is a fight. So we'll kill him, because then those skeletons won't happen anymore. But we're never going to go back up there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, that grace point, we are going to go back to the one I've just um, done then. There is a specific reason we came up here to do that. We're going to go back to that and get uh, the final legendary sorcery, so we will get the trophy for that in this one. Yeah, just stand above them and use Rock Sling. It's tempting to use other spells, but I just like this one so much. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you're going to get a Death Root and a, a Sword, which is great. We're never going to use them. Now, there is another fight that will trigger here. I'm not going to do this next one, but you can obviously, if you want to, you can. We haven't fought... Have we fought a Death Bird? Yes. No, no, we haven't fought a Death Bird yet. They're not too bad, honestly. They're, they're fairly straightforward. Just aim for the head, a bit like dragons, really. You're gonna see. You won't see it, but you'll see the name. No, it doesn't. I don't actually get it to spawn because I, I dropped off early. If you go a bit further, it will spawn. But I dropped off the side early to make sure it didn't. 
But yeah, if you go a bit further, there will be a death bird boss fight. And then we're heading to Castle Sol. This is what we're doing here. Not the nicest place. Honestly, I, I don't particularly care for this place. I usually like the castles and the dungeons and things, but this one I, I don't care for, honestly. Um, it's not these two first thing, these first two enemies, they're not a problem, honestly. Lions, if you just sneak in, bring in Titch, Tish. You can stand just out and she won't despawn, it's okay. And then we're going to get the, the lion's attention. Uh, the main thing we're actually going to use to kill this lion is um, Ambush Shard. We're just going to do it from behind the wall. So you're just going to have to keep blocking it. There are actually two lions there, by the way. So you may see another one. Don't be surprised, there are two. And each one is going to give you a Somber Smithing Stone 7 and Beast Blood uh, and Old Fangs. Which we don't need, we're just getting rid of them. Uh, they are one-offs, they don't ever come back, so once you kill them, they're done. So that's, uh, is that, yeah, that's one down. And then we've got the other one. Where's Titch gone? Where is she? Ah, oh, there you are. I can't lock on. <laughs> they do jump about quite a lot. Oh, that was a bad shot. That was as good as my shot, Titch. You're supposed to be better than me. <laughs> a little look to the camera there and say, what the hell is going on? Right, so once those two are dead, you can uh, sit down and refresh. They're, they're not going to come back. Now, there are two ways through this castle. There's an easy way, or an easier way, which is dead ahead up the stairs. Watch out for the eagles. Uh, there's a few lesser enemies as well. But we're actually going to go uh, a different way. I'm going to get another smithing stone six, um, just in case you need it. It's not majorly difficult, it's just a bit of a pain. So you're going to go this way. It's also a good opportunity to show you the shortcut back to the boss afterwards. So if you come down here, if you die later on against the boss, then you can come down here, and this will be the shortcut lift that we open up sh later on. So it's just dead ahead, that's a lift there. few slugs in here. They're all up on the roofs and the ceilings and everywhere. There's not too many of them, only five or six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. Can't remember how many killed at the start then. <laughs> An amount of slugs. And we're back outside. Right, so the enemies in this place, the main enemies in this place, are those horrible, teleporting, invisible ones. You're going to see that. They just spawned in then. Those gold-tinged enemies, the ones that teleport a lot, they're, they're horrible, honestly. So kill that one there, and then this one from a distance using Rock Sling. And now is the kind of, not kind of, it's very dangerous part, which is running towards ballistas that are firing at you. There are two, and they are one. The second one is covering the first one, unfortunately. So get them to fire into the wall like that, and then it will explode. So the the initial hit can hit you, as can the explosion. So try and run for it, and then you're gonna have to dodge. Ooh, and then try and quick. You could probably leave this first enemy because there is one shooting from above. He does get me, and I can't believe that explosion doesn't kill me. Honestly, I'm gonna dodge past. Hopefully, you can do a do better dodge than that jump. He is still there, he will disappear, but he's still there. And then, yeah, just the two there. I'm just going to run back and grab the Golden Rune 10 that we missed. Nope, didn't drop anything. Which is there. So yeah, Smithing Stone 6, which is behind the second one. That's where we came up. It's a, I suppose it's a bit of a shortcut, but it's a dangerous shortcut. And 
Now there is another painting down here as well. If you want to do this, I'm not going to pick it up, but there's a painting there. You can pick it up and go to where it is. And you get a little something. Right, so down here, be careful, there are wolves and there are eagles. The wolves, you can obviously see the eagles are obviously a bit higher up. They're covering from above. Uh, they may swoop in, they may not, but all you want to do is run, kill the wolves and run into this door. Just check the eagles aren't following you as well, or the hawks, uh, and you're fine. Now, I'm going to have to do, I don't have to do, but this bit is so horrible with all the enemies here that I'm going to do a, a suicide run. I'm literally going to run and kill myself. Um, so that's what we're doing. Don't worry, it's it makes sense when you see. So you've got one guy there, you've got one, two, three, and then you've got one of these really dangerous ones with the wind attack. Uh, so you want to run past him and quickly into the left here, and then this is a grace. So as long as you hit the grace, you can die. I'm just going to let him kill me so all the enemies diagro and reset. That's fine. I, I was expecting to do that. And then, of course, because we just sat at that, well, touched that grace, that's our last one. Pick up our souls and uh, souls, runes, and carry on. Not enough. Yeah, we do. Okay. So I'm going to go for HP a bit because we are going to take that reduction. I'm going to start using that talisman as of the next video for. So our health will go down a bit. Obviously, you don't need to follow exactly what I'm using. Uh, yeah, Clip Shuttle. This is a legendary weapon, so make sure you grab that. It's one we need for a trophy. And then in here, uh, this can go quite badly or it can go quite well, depending on <laughs> how you do it. Uh, yeah, if you know what to hit first, you'll be fine. So there's these ones hanging up here. So hit him, but don't go up the stairs just yet. If they scream, they will attract the attention of some of the invisible knights. Uh, so if you're wondering why you're getting invisible knights in here, it's because those enemies are screaming. So kill him first, and then there's another one down here. Just hanging up. So try and get the lock, and there, kill him. And then you're fine if... Obviously he can't scream and, scream, and there's another smithing stone 6 there as well, which is nice. Uh, if you do get one of the knights spawn in, then quickly run up here and stand on the lift. So you can just run from the very beginning of the castle uh, and that shortcut that I showed you. And just use the lift. And uh, yeah, right, we're going to do the boss of this place. We're done with regards to Castle Sol. I'm not exploring the rest of it because we don't need to. Uh, yeah, so Commander Nile is, can be quite tricky. Now I thought, I wonder if... I use Comet Azure if it's feasible because there are he basically sets up like we do so I'm gonna bring in Titch I'm gonna drink my in uh, my flask that allows infinite use of my spell and then I'm just gonna Comet Azure him to death and it actually worked so just keep on him lock on him lock on him lock on him now I'm not gonna keep it just like that here's my practice uh, Nile from when I did it the first time so I am actually it's completely different now I'm using mimic tier but just to demonstrate what his fight is actually like because you don't get to experience it so he brings two knights in which are kind of easy uh, compared to him so mimic tears actually died now it, it took the other knight out and then itself but the main attack that he does is this swirl which is obviously not good to be near and then he'll just kind of jump up he'll slam into the floor jump up slam down which you can dodge better than that hopefully and then um, he'll, he'll poke you with his halberd I think it is, is that a halberd? yeah I think it is and that's essentially what he'll do, he'll just do big wind attacks so if you see them coming, jump dodge swipe, so dodge back and then hit him with a spell and then rinse and repeat, pretty much he'll just kind of do that whole thing again and uh, yeah that's Commander Nile. He's not too difficult. Let the let Titch Tish take care of the two side enemies, and you just concentrate on Nile. Hopefully, you get the same thing that's about to happen. In a minute. we're going to transition back. You you get the idea with him. He's fairly straightforward. Uh, yeah, we can just transition back, and then there uh, we finish him. 
I can't believe that worked, <laughs> honestly. But it does, uh, if you're lucky. If he slightly moves off to the side, because he is quite slow in his initial setup, that's the thing. And he does move quite slow. And that, that second phase that you saw there is obviously a second phase. So he charges up. So if he does move off slightly, just stop Comet as your reset and then fire off again. And chances are you will, if not, if, if you don't kill him, you'll take a massive chunk of his health down. And uh, yeah, you may get lucky and that will happen for you as well. But yeah, you'll get uh, the prosthesis weapon, which is great, but that's not why we're here. What we're actually here for is we're going to go up the lift and we're going to get the Halig secret medallion, the left side. We got the right side very early on, that that guy that was hiding in a barrel <laughs> gave us that. So we're going to go back to the uh, grace point that we took, uh, that we lit at the top of um, where all those giants were slamming down. And now we're going to go and get our last legendary spell. So we can get that trophy. Have a quick level up. A bit more in vigor. So I'm ready to use that talisman. I'm going to get vigor up to 30, I think. And that's where we'll leave it. We're not getting too close to enemies, so it shouldn't be too bad. I thought there was an item there. I swear there was. That's why I jumped off. There's, there's snails and there's skeletons and things. It's fine. Just ride past them. Try not to aggro these two, but if you jump up this side, you should be fine. And then we're just going to jump off here. Haha! -ha! No, we're not. It's an invisible walkway. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was bad. I'm sorry. Uh, right, there's some stairs on the left here. They can be a bit tricky to see, but once you you kind of lock into them, uh, you'll see them, and they're not there. They can actually see them on the left there. I've not spotted them properly. Uh, yeah, you see that just on the left of the screen. Oh, it's gone now. Uh, there's a bit of a frost there. You can see it there in the middle there. Because I'm moving, you can't really see it. But use your spell to kind of figure out where it is. When you hit it, you'll yeah, there it is. You can see it now. Just you can see it in there, dead ahead of me. You'll see some sort of snow, and you just follow it up like this, and then we're inside. Now, as I walk in, there's two enemies here, and I hit one, and then I've got, I'm have got. i trying to fire again, but I've got that, that um, notification on the bottom saying the seal is broken. And obviously, you can't fire when that's there, uh, so be aware of that. Step forward, let that notification happen, cancel it, and then hit it. So there's one on the left, and then there's one on the right here. That would have been getting me back for getting so lucky with Niall, wouldn't it? Get killed by one of those things. But it's a normal tower after that, and there is a spell at the top. There's one more enemy on the stairs. It's just one of those skeleton guys. He does hide around the corner, which is a bit annoying, though. So I tried to use Ambush Shard, but he wasn't having it. No, I didn't. Why didn't I use Ambush Shard? Why am I not using Ambush Shard? That's what I should have been using. I was expecting it. I think I do change to it and then he walks towards me. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So use ambush shards to get rid of him. And then at the top is Founding Reign of Stars, which is a legendary sorcery. You will also get the trophy legendary sorceries and sorceries and incantations at this point. If you do not, it means you've missed one. Um I will have a list. I'll put that in the description. It will be in on all of them actually. Uh, of all spells, legendary spells and weapons, where to find them, so you can go back in case you've missed them and uh, find them. Hopefully you haven't. There aren't many of each, so yeah, you'd be fine, even if you do have to go back. There's only that one missable one, which is the Bolt of Gran... Gran... Slacks? Granax? That we got in uh, Leyendel. That's the only missable one, the rest are fine. Right, we're going to actually exit this tower by going downstairs. I'm going out the front door, but this is where we are now. We're going to follow this road all the way down. There's quite a lot going on in this road, though. And I do get completely confused for a moment. So you want to ride down here. And then don't bear left where I go. You want to go right, follow the road, the thing I just told you to do. I don't know what I'm doing. Follow the road. Follow the road. Nope, don't go that way. Follow the road. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I couldn't bring my map up. 
No, still not doing it. Still not got it. Trying to avoid enemies. There we go. Yeah, get through here. There is a dog that I'm trying looking for as well. There he is. So I'm trying to ride past him. There's a few of them. Obviously, just ride past them. You'll be fine. There is a grace up here. So that's what we're aiming for. So once you get to this point, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> it's like I'm in children. That's what you have to say to them. Um, no, I'm not saying that you're my children. That's weird, isn't it? Uh, no, <laughs> follow the road and you'll, you'll get there. And then once you're up there, obviously reset. And then we're just going to ride through this camp. Keep riding all the way through. You can obviously do it if you like. There's a lot of enemies here, though. You can do the castle as well if you want. Nothing of interest for us, though. And then keep the castle on your right. And then up here, you will get to the chain. And then just ride across the chain, and you're free. And this is Mountains of the Giants East. The map is here. So we'll be able to see what the hell's going on. So this is where we are now. Just get ridden across. And this is the whole area we're doing. So we're going to mark this. This is the only point we really need. That's a church. So there's a... Uh, a sacred tier there and then we're gonna go and do the boss it's we're not doing the rest of the area we don't need to so yeah just head towards the marker and watch out for enemies essentially there will be giants there will be crabs there will be I think no not crabs sorry there will be the hand spiders uh, if you take the same path as me you should be fine there are dogs you'll notice that some of them will start fighting each other just keep heading towards that marker I think the yeah the, the hands are on this side here. I think there's a small one there. What's that? Is that a dog? No, it's a crow fighting a giant. Because of course. So we'll go around this side and avoid that. And then once you get round here, you'll see the church, which is there. And when you get towards the church, your yeah, there he is. Torrent will despawn. That means an NPC fight's happening. Which uh, is about to happen. Bloody finger Okina. Okina. Fairly easy. But just don't let him get near you. He does do a lot of damage. We can use Stars of Ruin to uh, ruin his day, as it were. But he, d he does have kind of, cool, kind of a cool sword, though. Getting a bit greedy here. He does hit me. I knew the next one would kill him, but he nearly kills me. <laughs> Whoa. Nearly. Calm down. So you get R Rivers of Blood, which is a weapon, which is a, a katana with arcane. I think it's arcane. It scales off, so it's no good for us, or for us really. You'll get his mask, and you'll also get a sacred tear, which is at the back there. And a grace, which is good. So I'll just sit at that and refresh. Do we have a level in us? I don't know if we have. No, that's what I'm not looking for. There, that's what we're after. Use the sacred tear. And then we're going to head into this giant's head up here. So do watch out. There are crows. Take the same path as me. There are those big crows up here. They should not aggro if you come up this way. And then jump into the mouth. And there is an ancient dragon smithing stone. This is the top smithing stone for the regular smithing stone path, which we are not doing, unfortunately. Well, I will use it eventually on the on the sword we're using, but if you're using that, you haven't got many eights yet, so you can't actually use it. It's a bit annoying. But we'll get our somber one in the next video. You only need one of those, by the way, for the top. The 25th and the 10th upgrade. And then we'll use the spirit spring, and then we're going to ride across the top here. And we're going to head towards Fire Giant, which is a boss. The first time, when I first played this, they have changed this boss. I swear they have. Um, yeah, drop down here. Obviously, keep the gap. Watch out, there is a gap to the right. Keep that on your right. Drop down. There's a, another grace here. This one's closer to the boss fight. Yes, I do do. I died in this. This was a stupid death as well. He does hit very hard, but as long as you keep your distance, you'll be fine. Such a stupid death. I'm not going to show it, obviously, but you will see a transition. 
Uh, yeah, so follow along here, and there's going to be a chain, and that's going to lead to the fight. There are actually two ways into this fight, but well, this one's closest to a grace. And at this side here, so yeah, there's <laughs> the transition. Uh, this side here is Alexander. He was not here. The first time I ever did this, Alexander was not here. But he is now, and he's got so much health, it's unbelievable. He doesn't die. He doesn't even take much damage. And you can bring in your little uh, helper here, your little guardian, should I say. And this is the fire giant. So we're going to be staying away from him for the most part, trying to anyway. And you're going to be aiming for his left leg. So as you look at him, uh, the right leg, that one. And this one you can damage. And uh, yeah, just look out for his attacks. He does the scoop. This is the one that really hurts. It's quite hard to dodge unless you're close to him. And obviously if you're in the middle of casting a spell, it's going to really hurt. So you will take a lot of damage if he comes for you. You can tell when he's on you, obviously. And his, his normal attacks like that are actually quite easy to dodge through. They have quite a big window. But if you keep going for that leg, he will uh, eventually drop down like that. And then eventually you'll break the splint off like that, leaving it exposed to quite big damage. Uh, I'm not actually close enough to be using that properly. I should have used probably Stars of Ruin or something. But then he actually goes down here, which is quite annoying because I can't get to his leg, so I'm going to have to go around. Uh, he has a few other attacks he'll do. He'll do this one, which he'll release um, a ball of fire that will just go towards us. The... I mean, how much damage? He didn't take any damage then, Alexander, did he? <laughs> um, he will um, yeah, do the ball and it will follow you and then it will explode. He'll also, if he faces his hand towards you, he'll fire fire out of his hand and that can hurt you, which he's... Yeah, that one he's just done. But because I was uh, high, he didn't get me. And then, uh, yeah, just keep going for that leg, essentially. Keep your distance, use rock sling so you don't have to get close. Alexander will take all the, the damage, which is great. Yeah, so this is definitely changed. Alexander was not there the first time I did this. And you could ride Torrent. You can't ride Torrent anymore, which is a very strange change that they've done. There is a second phase, and weirdly, he's not going into it. Uh, he should gone, should have gone into the second phase by now. So I'm getting a... There we go. Second phase will happen. I'm going to skip this. We don't need to watch it. And then you'll be moved. And then he will move into his second phase. And he, he's lost the use of his legs, basically. And he will do big charge attacks. Now, you can use Comet Azure, which I do switch to. But he does have... Um, if he does more... He potentially will have more health than I have... Than he has for me. If that is the case, watch out for these attacks. Just casually walk off. That was luck. <laughs> but yeah, if you use Comet as your, if you you are quick on it, you can do a massive load of damage to him. He's not too bad with all the help, with especially with Alexander being there. Honestly, uh, I'm just going to go and get the runes that I dropped the first time I died. Uh, the only time, should I say? And then uh, yeah, we're good. That's the end of the video. So you you get the trophy. And we can actually finish the game at this point. We're at the point where we can finish the game. Pretty much. But we're going to go and do some... Uh, some side stuff. So I'm just going to ride up here. This is a grace. So off to the left here. This... So before we do this, I will obviously... Change, well, this is going to change the world at Leyendel. We're going to light this thing up here, which is going to set the Erd Tree on fire, which changes the world entirely. We'll do that later on. We're not going to do it now, but make sure you've got Bolt of Granax from Leyendel before we do that. I'll mention it again before we do it. Right, that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.